as a young boy, I was learning about the felt, the plants, the spores, eating fruits from the trees. I was just like a wild animal, like a small bucky. <laughs> It take a long time to become a monster, to know all the small things like beetles, like scorpions. So you, when you follow the animal, you're just thinking the same as what the animal was thinking. Carl is a master tracker, and that means he's basically a magician of the bush. I see grass, I see rocks, I see the sky, he sees a complete wonderland and he can read that location like a book. Hmm. Actually what was happening here, this, this here is, is from a kudu. Like two bulls were fighting, fighting here, yeah. One day I was just going out and showed students flowers. There was no wind, it was so quiet. The rhinos was not far from us. The wind was just start blowing our scent to the bushes. Oh, and the next moment, this rhino was coming straight to us. And I tried to get some rocks there, I cannot find. I just getting soil and throwing in face. <laughs> After that, I was like shaking inside. Not outside, my inside was shaking. Shooting the portrait of Carl where he was born as part of his environment, almost animalistic for me, it was a simple, beautiful representation of who he is. He is the last of almost a dying art, and without people like him passing on this tradition of being able to show people how to track, how to understand their natural environment, we will lose a part of us. And as an icon, he represented the unsung heroes of the conservation community. People must get involved in nature because you find so many things in nature. When you look around and you see all these things that, that all stick together, plants, animals, all human beings as part from nature. It's one, you see, family, our family. <laughs> <laughs>